After three bombs fell on it during the Syrian civil war, this is what remains of the Armenian Catholic Cathedral of Our Mother of Reliefs in Aleppo, built in the 1840s. When it could no longer host Father Antoine Tahan's congregation, he undertook frequent visits to the families under his care. They numbered 3,000 before the war, but at the time of recording earlier this year had shrunk to 1,100, less than half. He says he tried to encourage them to stay in Aleppo, as he himself did. The people, our community, who went abroad, they don't want to come back. But we stayed here because we love our church, we love our Aleppo, we love our community, and we want to stay here to protect the Christian existence here in Aleppo. We want to come back to repair our church because when we are repairing our church, it means that we are protecting our existence and to encourage people to come back to their city, Aleppo. The local Armenian Catholics were able to open a pharmacy during the war where people could buy medicines at lower prices than elsewhere. Syria's Armenian community, more than 100,000 before the war, has dwindled to around 30,000 now. Of all the Armenian communities in towns and villages across the country, Aleppo's was the biggest and therefore the most affected by the war. Only seven out of 17 Armenian churches in Aleppo survive. The others were either destroyed or burnt down. I hope that one day we will come back, we will repair everything, our homes, our shops and also our churches. A similar fate befell the 15th century Greek Orthodox Church of the Dormition of St Mary in Aleppo's Christian quarter. It used to be home to many valuable icons of the famous Aleppine school, its archpriest, Father Gassan Ward, says. Our church, it was a pier. Now it's a wounded pier. We have a very big collection of the icons, of the ancient icons, which we saved. We saved some of the materials, but Unfortunately, there are a lot of something we couldn't uh, remove it from our church because it will be destroyed on the way or stolen. For that, we preferred to leave them in our church and ask God to protect. And now, after seven years of the war, they are still standing in our church. The church supported the Greek Orthodox community by coordinating donations and delivering aid, training people for job opportunities and, as Father Kassan says, by giving them a little push to start over again. Of 18,000 before the war, only 5,000 Greek Orthodox have remained in Syria. Father Kassan has a message for those who left. Our city is not the most beautiful. Our city is not the greatest one. Our city is not the safe or the safer one, but it is our city. It's so hard to see the stones which were on, now they are down. It's too hard to see them, but the hardest is to see your sons are run away. It's hard not to see them helping you to rebuild your church, to rebuild your home, to rebuild the houses here. Our church is still in this, as you can see, in this case, they are unfortunately destroyed, but we were rebuilt it. These benches are being renovated and polished for their return to the Syriac Catholic Cathedral of Our Lady of the Assumption in Aleppo. At the time of filming, the cathedral was under reconstruction, with George Spar, one of its congregation, frequently visiting to check on its progress. Built in the 1970s, 
The cathedral was bombed several times during the war, but continued to regularly support 850 families with food, medicine and medical treatment. Many times during uh, the distribution, we got seven or eight bombs at once and no one have been uh, attacked. And uh, this is a, a great miracle. Our help together is giving to the people the power to, to stand persecution and to stay in Syria, to stay in Aleppo. We refuse to leave our country. We refuse to leave Holy Land. This month, the cathedral, now fully restored, was inaugurated again by the Syriac Catholic Patriarch in the presence of other local bishops, the Vatican Nuncio to Syria and a large congregation. Celebrating Mass for the first time since its restoration, the Patriarch said, we will always be people of hope and life. Personally, I believe that sometimes persecution is a blessing. In Syria, persecution makes us one. Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox, we are now all one. We help each other, we live together or we die together.